So I have a, a friend of mine. We've been friends for many, many years. And um, recently he got, he got really upset at me because I don't talk to him about my problems anymore. And <laughs> so he thinks that I must be hiding something from him. Like I don't feel open to share with him. I don't talk to him about my issues anymore. So he feels like I'm distancing myself from him. And I explained to him that it's not, it's not that I'm hiding, hiding anything from him at all. It's just that I have no more problems. <laughs> I have no more issues. Like there's nothing that I feel the need to discuss with him and mull over or anything. That's, it's just how it is. And he can't understand it, like he just doesn't believe me. Because if you have not um, been introduced to open intelligence and are not um, given the tools to be able to permanently live open, as open intelligence, then it doesn't make sense. How can, how can all of a sudden you go from having so many problems and issues to having none? Like there's been thousands and thousands of psychology books and you know, all types of books being written about um, try, you know, trying to help people to get rid of their problems. Uh, yet, you know, until I came to Balanced View, I didn't meet anyone who doesn't have problems and issues in their life. So, uh, so, so, the, so the solution that I found that completely erased all of my problems and all of my issues was open intelligence, was living a life as open intelligence. And living as open intelligence, I just see that really, truly, like from the depth of my heart, there is just nothing that poses as a threat or a problem anymore. And, and, it, and I, it wasn't always like that. Like it, it really, it really wasn't. I, I wasn't it wasn't at all like that. You know, like I used to really could always find a topic to talk about with somebody who was ready to listen to me, you know, from, or, or a topic to talk about with myself. Like if I was in a relationship, it was never perfect, never ever perfect. There was always something slightly off, slightly, slightly. And um, that was a great conversation with friends. Oh, everything's so amazing, it's great. But you know, you know, if he was just a little bit more, you know, sensitive in that area, then he would be my dream man. <laughs> there was just, it was just always something. Or uh, if I was uh, going to bed at night or looking in the mirror, looking at my body, it was never right, absolutely never right. Always need to lose more weight. Always need to fix something in my body. Sore knees, can't run. That was the worst when I found out I had sore knees and the doctor told me I couldn't run anymore. It was like, oh my God, how am I gonna maintain this body? How am I gonna actually like not get, not not put on weight and it was just like such a stress in my life just just constantly needing to maintain this body need it to look in a certain way and so that you know that caused lots of time like lots of thinking and then um, I come to this training and I was introduced to open intelligence open intelligence which is just so simple and so easy to access that I just can't even believe that it took me, I think at that time I was 27, 27 years of my life and no one had ever told me about it before. And then here, coming to Balance View, you're just introduced to open intelligence just like that, just like this, stop thinking, just for a moment. There it is. Bright, open, alert, open intelligence. You didn't need to breathe in a certain way. You didn't need to meditate. You didn't need to close your eyes. 
You didn't need to read a certain book about it. It's just there, just right now. Wherever you are, open intelligence is just there. And it always has been. We just stopped. We just didn't know. Nobody taught us how to access open intelligence. And so there it is. Available for everybody all of the time. I was taught to focus on my data streams. Data streams in, um, in Balanced View are just thoughts, emotions, sensations, experiences, anything. Anything that arises, we just call it data streams. And that's, that was the intelligence that I used my whole life to focus on my thoughts, emotions and sensations. And open intelligence got completely, completely ignored. Now, all of our thoughts, emotions, sensations are so completely random and spontaneous. Like there's absolutely no way to control them. So when we rely on open intelligence, when we take a short moment of open intelligence, we see that we can let all of our thoughts, all of our data streams be exactly as they are. So looking in the mirror, you know, feeling like the body needs to change, the body's not good enough, need to lose weight, need to put on weight, whatever it is, everyone's different. Looking in the, allowing all of that to be as it is. Allowing all of the thoughts, emotions to just be exactly as they are. And see that when we stop focusing in on them, when we stop like going into it, like, ooh, I'm fat, I'm fat, need to lose weight, need to go for a run, need to eat less food, need to, you know, just like really, really indulging in the story. And like, it's very stressful living like that because you can live your whole life like that. We stop focusing on the data streams. We just see, we can completely relax. We take a short moment of open intelligence and we can allow all of the thoughts to be exactly as they are and see that, wow, they have no effect over us, no effect over our happiness, our well-being. Like we can have for the rest of our life thoughts of, I'm too fat, I'm too skinny, I need more muscles, I need less muscles. And we're totally unaffected. Like, like, like it, just, it just doesn't matter. It doesn't actually mean anything at all. Like that's, it, it, that's quite life-changing because we can bring that into, into any situation. Like any situation that we're in. We're speaking with people. All of a sudden the data stream arises that you're angry, that you feel like all of a sudden this immense anger arises. And previously our option was that we could, you know, go into this anger again, like another way, we can just indulge it, we can give this anger lots of meaning, or we can just allow it to be as it is and see that, wow, it has, it has no effect over us. We can just rely on open intelligence, take a short moment of open intelligence and let it be exactly as it is. And what is shining forth in this short moment of open intelligence is perfect love. And so it just opens the doors to relationships with so many more people because we're not limited by our descriptions anymore. We're not limited by what our thoughts say. Like before I thought that I could only be friends with people if my thoughts said I like that person or I'm attracted to that person, that person's cool and if I had thoughts that said that person's not cool, I don't like that person, that person's annoying then that meant that I just don't talk to them, I'm just not friends with them anymore and it just limited my experience of life because actually eventually I just saw that these random data streams of negativity about people, they just popped up actually about everybody <laughs> at some stage. And so when I just have the solution of tapping into short moments of open intelligence, I just can see that I'm just open to the world. I'm open to everybody because I'm relying on this perfect love. Open intelligence synonymous with perfect love. 
and I have no more problems. Like there's nothing, there's no data stream that can cause a threat because everything flows by like a line drawn in water. And life just becomes completely relaxing. And then we can enjoy life so much because we're just relying on this perfect love. We're interacting with each person as perfect love. We don't need to talk about our thoughts and emotions anymore. It just doesn't make sense. It's, you know, like it just, it wouldn't even, it wouldn't even occur to me anymore to sit down with a friend and talk about our thoughts. Because the more that you rely on open intelligence, the more you see that they have no meaning. They're like space in space. Like it doesn't, you know, make sense to compare this piece of space with this piece of space. It just doesn't make sense. So in order to really support yourself to recognize open intelligence in your life, to be able to live a problem-free life, a really happy life, a life full of complete love and care, we have the Balanced View offers a support system called the Four Mainstays. And the Four Mainstays are just this incredible algorithm. I didn't know what an algorithm was, like what, the, what that meant before I came here. <laughs> So it's like one plus one equals two. It always equals two. It never equals three, right? So the four mainstays always equals problem-free life. <laughs> you use the four mainstays, it always equals empowerment. It's not an option that it doesn't. Even if you hate sitting here, even if you, even if you don't agree with anything I say, even if you're really bored, the algorithm always works. <laughs> it doesn't rely on your thoughts to like this, to be happy to be here, to want to come to the open meeting. The algorithm doesn't care. It's like one plus one doesn't care if you're angry that day, it will still equal two. <laughs> so this is the four main states. <laughs> so if you want to live a really completely empowered life, like where when you're with your friends or you have to do is to share with them about how much you love them and just have so much fun together full of laughter, then you just use the four mainstays. And they can be integrated into your life however you like, like with, with whatever type of life you're living. You don't need to come to India to be able to use the four mainstays. So we have short moments of open intelligence, you can take them anytime. You have uh, the training, the training media. We have this incredible website, balancedview.org website, and there are thousands of talks on there that you can download onto your iPod and you can listen to them at any time. We have a one-day training on Saturday. It's just completely available for you wherever you are online. And then we have a, uh, the trainer, a trainer, somebody who you can ask questions to. If there's like a topic that you're really struggling with, you can speak to a trainer and see how did you recognize open intelligence in that situation? And the trainer is just like a mountain guide. They're just somebody who's gone before you. And so it just is obvious that you just, you ask for advice from somebody who's gone before you, who's you know, gain confidence in open intelligence so that you don't have to go through the hardship that they've gone through. And you can just do it easier and faster. And then you have the community. The community just sitting here being together. I mean, it's just, for me, it's just such a difference hanging out with my community friends because we just all know the true nature of data streams. And so when we're together, it's just not an option that we you know, gossip or try to understand what's going on for each of us because there is so much going on for each of us. 
We just don't, we just don't do that. All of, we, none of us are affected by the negativity. So instead of being in bad moods with each other, or bad moods showing up somewhere and just being in a bad mood because I'm having negative data streams today, <laughs> we, just show, we, just, we just show up in complete love and openness no matter what's occurring and we're just available for each other. So that's the four mainstays, that's the algorithm. And you use all of those four, short moments, the training, the trainer and the community and you are guaranteed to live a life of exaltation.